We continue to cover this breaking news out of Israel. You are looking at pictures from over the weekend just showing some of the destruction, uh, mass destruction with multiple uh, missile strikes in Israel. Uh, this is right near the Gaza Strip, of course, uh, Gaza, uh, home to Palestinians. Uh, that land fight uh, between Israel and Palestinians erupting in this, the Hamas militants attacking Israel in a surprise uh, that caught the nation off guard. Many grieving, uh, finding out that their loved ones or friends have been killed. Others haven't heard from their family yet, and they're holding on to hope. Anat Alon Beck uh, was born in Israel, still has a lot of family there, and she joins us this morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that you have the composure to even talk about this, because I'm, I'm sure you've been on the phone all weekend, just making sure that everybody's safe. Have you heard from your family? I haven't slept for three days since this is going on. Really, I've been on the phone all day with friends and family. It's heartbreaking. I am completely devastated with what I'm seeing. I can't even watch some of the videos that are being um, shown online by the terrorists. So many of my friends have lost their loved ones. I hear of, you know, uh, mothers while I was on Twitter and this was happening, crying for help, saying they're at our door. I'm with my baby, somebody please come and help me. Mm. And then at the party, which some of my friends went to, they're escaping by foot, they're rounding them up, they're being shot, girls are raped next to the bodies, mass bodies, mass amounts of bodies, numbers I haven't seen, horror things from the Holocaust. I mean, you, you just don't understand. I have friends that, one of my father's friends, he got a phone call, he's a retired um, army, General, uh, his son is barricaded in his house while terrorists are, are outside trying to burn the house. He drove himself and rescued his son. I mean, the, 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 the hero story, so many fathers that are now drafted, even though they just had babies and, and mothers as well. People are deploying, gathering together, helping civilians with food and drinks, and terrorists are still in Israel as we speak. Kids can't even go outside on the streets. I mean, what we're going through there is a nightmare. As I'm just talking to you, my messages are not continuing. As numbers come in, I see more and more people I know are killed, were murdered, butchered, raped. What about the hostages? This is a cry to the world. There are women there, children, babies, elderly. We want them back. They need to be freed both American and Israelis and other foreigners, so many Americans with dual citizenship who are there, and we don't know how they're doing. We haven't heard from them, and the videos that we do see are of a horrible, the, the terrorists are taking videos as they're raping the victims, as they're beheading people. I've, I'm telling you, this is just awful. I don't know how anybody can do these atrocities. I just don't understand. I, I, no, there's no understanding it. And, and you summed up what so many people are seeing online. And, and that's the thing, um, Anat. I, watching it as a viewer and thinking, this sounds like the Old Testament. This sounds like something from the Torah that you would never think would happen in 2023. And yet this, this carnage is senseless. Uh, these young men, these Hamas militants, it is a vi verified terror organization, just in case people at home don't know, verified by not only Israel, but the U.S. Um, in terms of support, you're not sleeping for three days. What about your community in Cleveland, Ohio? You're a law professor uh, at Western Reserve University. I'm sure there are people gathering at their synagogues, uh, in their prayer groups, just trying to hold each other uh, during such a time. Talk about your community. First, I want to thank, we have an amazing community. The outpour of support, the emails, the phone calls, the messages that I'm getting in Cleveland, from all, also from all over the United States. I've been getting phone calls and emails from friends all over the United States. Thank you so much. They're asking, how can we help? We're seeing what's going on. We're with you. We support you. We love you. And we need that help right now. And especially as I'm seeing some of the protests that have been going on against Israel supporting Hamas. How can you support this? How can you support this as we're still being butchered? People are butchered at their homes. Please support us. We need you to support us. We need you to put pressure so that the hostages will be released. And this is ongoing. It's still ongoing. 
And I, I mean, honestly, I, I want to thank the American people. They are amazing. I'm American too, and I'm proud to be American. And also this administration, President Biden has been amazing. The way he's been deploying help, standing by the side of Israel from the moment it happened. This is priceless, really. Thank you. And thank you for your prayers. We need them and we need your help. We need your support right now. And I appreciate that. I'm a professor and I already know of several professors here from the United States who lost their kids in Israel as we're speaking. Mm. So we are all affected. My, my friends are affected. My family's affected. Even, you know, my colleagues are affected. Well, I certainly, I hope that uh, the Biden administration sees uh, stories like yours uh, and continues to offer that support. We need that continuing support. We don't know how long this battle will rage on. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu saying it will be a long fight, but uh, not a long back. Uh, strength to you, uh, peace thank to your heart, and, and thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Really, it's a bipartisan support. All parties have been reaching out, and I want to tell you we love you and we appreciate you, and you are our best allies. Thank you. You know what, making a good point there, that it is a bipartisan uh, effort of support. You know, whether you're Democrat, uh, Republican, independent, it doesn't matter. Um, nobody should see their children, their grandchildren, their grandmothers, anybody uh, taken and, and assailed like this. Yeah, they deserve peace. Unbelievably emotional and traumatic for so many people across the world right now and in Israel.